We'll come back to these in Squidge World. And as you see, next to me is just a normal tree. But you're about to see something most amazing. Yep, it's still there. Now, oops. Now, let's see. If you see in this small area, can you see anything that has to do with a spider? Now, the spider is actually, it's chemical. Now, what if I use this stick and put it on? Do you see a movement? If you don't see a movement, then I'll do it again. Whoop! Yeah, hunting spiders are really fast. Sometimes I can identify it because I've captured these like a thousand times. Oh, it's here, it's here. See, this is the problem with these guys. When all of these, the bark is peeled off, it can't, it can't just, you'll just see it straight away. Yeah, this is the smallest species of huntsman spider around. The bark huntsman, or some of you guys call it bark spider, or tree spider. It's named after the coloration yeah you know spiders is nature nature is just nature it just comes in a different varieties and you see these two short legs well let's pretend a hungry lizard bird pecked those two legs and the spider let them go well these two are actually tiny legs they'll soon grow as long as these giant legs oh. And do you see next to that is a pupae of a caterpillar. And you know it's really cute. It's nearly spring. So spring is the time they emerge out and become as butterflies. I think we'll do an episode of that and it's coming soon. So make sure to subscribe and click the bell and we'll see you in the next episode. Whoa, there's a wasp over there. It's a pot of wasp behind the leaf. You can't really see it. So, as I was saying, and I'll see you in the next episode.